everybody, it's Jenny from Norman S. Wright. Last week we talked about electric reheat boxes, so let's stay on the heating topic this week again, and let's talk about VAV hot water reheat coils. Let's get started. I did a water coil basics video last year where I discussed the construction and parts of water coils, but as a refresher, hot water coils consist of tubes that pass through metal fins mounted in a housing. So let's draw a water coil. When the hot water flows through the tubes, they transfer heat to the fins, and as the supply air passes through the coil, the fins transfer the heat to the air. For VAV boxes, standard hot water coils have 10 fins per inch, but you can also get high capacity coils that are 12 fins per inch. Because you're putting all this stuff in the airstream, you're adding pressure drop to the VAV box as well. Let's make a little more room here. Water coils typically mount to the discharge of single duct boxes and series fan powered boxes, but they're often mounted on the induced air inlet of the parallel fan box so that the additional pressure drop of the water coil is only an issue during heating when the fan is on. Let's label the boxes real quick. Let's slide this over. You'll see water coils with one row, two row, three row, or four row on VAV boxes, and one and two row are the most common. Rows refer to the number of layers of tubes that the air passes over as it moves through the coil. So if we draw the water coil from the face, the coil will look kind of like this, and the tubes will run through it like this. The supply comes into the bottom, and the return is at the top of the water coil, and this pushes the air out of the coil. So this coil that I drew on the left, on the end would look something like this, or it might look something like this. Now this first one is all in a row, so that is one row. The second one, you can see that there are two rows, and so this is a two-row coil. The more rows a coil has, the more surface area that's available for heat transfer, so a two-row water coil will provide more heat capacity, but it also increases the air pressure drop across that coil. So let's move this over and talk about circuits. Circuits refer to the path the water takes through the coil. A single circuit means that the water enters the coil, passes through the tubes, and exits the coil. Multiple circuits divide the flow path, allowing the water to travel through fewer tubes per circuit, but in parallel paths. Let's bring back our two row water coil. So it looked like this, and there's only one place for the water to go in and one place for the water to go out. So this is a single circuit coil. If it looked like this, then there'd be two circuits because the water would come in here and out here and in here and out here. And then both of these are two row water coils, so let's label that. Circuits are used to control the water velocity and pressure drop within the coil. They help in managing the amount of water flowing through each part of the coil, which affects the heat transfer efficiency and water pressure drop. More circuits usually means lower water pressure drop. Let's move this over one more time. Traditionally, VAV coils are designed for 180 degree Fahrenheit entering water temperature. But we're seeing entering water temperatures down to 120 degrees now. To effectively heat at these lower temperatures, you need a larger coil face. This is where oversized coils come in. On a VAV box, the water coil width and height is constrained by the discharge size of the VAV box. But you can get VAV boxes that have larger discharge sizes to accommodate larger water coils. So it basically looks like this. If you have a 12 inch inlet single duct box, the discharge would be somewhere around 15 by 15 inches. And this is the water coil here on the end. Let's actually draw this out in 3D. So you'd have approximately 15 by 15 inches of face on this water coil. But in an oversized box, this would still be a 12 inch inlet, but now we're looking at a larger discharge size, maybe 16 or 17 inches. So this gives you a larger face on your coil. This allows you to put a larger water coil, and the result of a larger water coil is that at any given heat capacity, the leaving water temperature, air pressure drop, water pressure drop, and gallons per minute will be lower in the oversized unit. So let's pull all of this back on screen. So that covers the basics of VAV Box hot water coils. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel, and thanks for watching.